Okay, my name is Tom Hadigan. I'm the author and the creator of a new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Today I'm looking, previewing the much anticipated matchup between Makachev and Suruakun. Both are Russians. This is um, Makachev on the left, Suruakun on the right. It's of course for the UFC lightweight championship. Now let's look at the background and the profile of uh, Makachev. Now, of course, Makachev is a uh, protege of Khabib and he belongs to the same uh, Russian training uh, stable. So let's look at his uh, CV, his, his UFC record. Now, unfortunately, he lost his um, first fight in the UFC. It was a flash punch from Adriano uh, Martins. And since that time, he's actually fought um, a whole range of good to very good mixed martial arts artists. Uh, Wade and Lentz are both good. Tibau is good. Uh, of course, Sorokin, that was his first meeting with Sorokin. It was a unanimous decision. Um, that was mostly seen as a clear victory for Makachev. Uh, Sorokin doesn't share that view. He thinks it was much, much closer than being a unanimous decision. Uh, then he had a, a successful 20th match against Drew Dober. Drew Dober is one of those MMA or UFC practitioners who tend to fall a little little bit below the limelight. I mean, Drew Dober is an excellent mixed martial artist, extraordinarily talented. Um, so Makachev beat him. Then he went on to beat Moises. Then he went on to beat Hooker. Hooker's had, um, you know, ups and downs in in the UFC, but he's potentially, he has the, he has the potential to rise and be a significant player in the division, I believe. Then he beat Bobby Green. Then he built, beat a world-class ex-champion in Charles Oliveira. The ease with which he beat Charles Oliveira was uh, very surprising, certainly surprising to me. He beat him by a arm triangle choke and submitted him. Then he took on one of the world's great artists, um, Volkanovski, the Australian Volkanovski. The first was a unanimous decision, but Volk was certainly in the contest. Had he started strategically slightly differently, I think he would. He might have had a different result. But the follow-up was not very advantageous to Volk. I think he took it on short notice and he was quickly dispatched by a head kick. Then um, he went to take on Dustin Poirier, one of the world's great mixed martial artists who has never won the world title. He's been very close on two or three occasions, um, but he's just one minor level below the world champions in my view. So what can we say about Makachev? Firstly, he's trained by Khabib and Khabib's trainer. So he has a world-class set of uh, training associates and fellow artists with him. He's renowned for his exceptional wrestling skills and his exceptional grappling. He's renowned for his exceptional uh, submission skills. He uses a diverse arsenal of submissions. He uses chokes, arm locks, and he's very skilled in how he executes these. Now, early days, he wasn't particularly definitive as a striker. Now he's much better. He has good endurance. He doesn't have the stamina or the endurance of uh, Marab, but he's a very cool cookie, cool customer. Um, he has a calm and focused demeanor. You never see him flustered in a fight or in an interview. He's quite an extraordinary ambassador for mixed martial arts. Does he have weaknesses? Yes, he does. Um, his striking is not perfected. I think he could have problems against taller, longer opponents. And his striking is not necessarily high level in terms of accuracy. He does know how to adapt. Uh, and he is a formidable and a well-rounded uh, mixed martial artist. So let's have a look at his his opponent, Suruakin. This is their second matchup. So let's look at his record. Okay, well, he's lost three times. But let's see who he's actually beaten. Okay, he beat the ex-world champion, Oliveira, who's a world-class mixed martial artist. He beat one of the top mixed martial artist Benil Dariush. He beat Joachim Silva, outstanding. He lost to Ganrot, which is interesting. Uh, who else has he beaten? Of course, he lost to Makachev in his 15th fight. 
I would say that these are the outstanding. Oliveira is outstanding. Darius is outstanding. Gamrot is outstanding. And of course, Makachev is outstanding. Now, uh, Sarulkin thinks that he was much closer getting the decision, getting his hand raised during their first fight. I don't share that view. I think it was a clear victory for uh, Makachev. But that's, it's now falls on uh, Sarulkin to see how he can fare during the second matchup. So what can we say about Sarulkin? He doesn't have any of the definitive great strengths of uh, Makachev. He's a Russian wrestler, Russian grappler. He has a strong wrestling background and excellent grappling. I don't think he's to the same high standard as Makachev. He does have some issues with uh, striking and he does have some issues with his cardio. Um, I think if you compare the cardio uh, qualities of Makachev and Sarilkin, uh, Makachev is, has more excellence in that area. So despite these areas of concern, Sarilkin's overall skill level and determination make him a formidable opponent. I think he's a lesser opponent than um, others that uh, Makachev has fought. I don't think he's as good as uh, Oliveira. I certainly don't think he's as good as Poirier. But I think he'll give a good account of himself during the second uh, matchup. My pick, uh, really only one victor here, and that is uh, Makachev.